Yo, what's up, SR Squad? I'm back again. It's been about three days. My longest. I haven't had a video. Little break, but I'm back. Uh, just chilling, you know, having a good sunny day. Thick clouds, you know. It's been cloudy these past couple of days, but it's been pretty nice. Yesterday was pretty nice. Very, very beautiful. Like, at this time yesterday, um, I was uh, looking at the clouds. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Bless myself. But <clears throat> anyway, how you guys been? You know, how was your week or your weekend? I don't know. These past days, past week. It's been pretty chill. You know, I watched Zero. Uh, so then, um, my girl's uh, cousins were babysitting her at the beginning of the week. And then, um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, we been doing a lot i just took my girl to work I she went in at 10 she gets up at three later today um and uh been trying to figure out what to cook i'm thinking maybe later on i might make another video like two videos in one day you know like the other day i did that once in a long while i might do that you know have a little vlog and then i'll show you guys what i'm cooking later you know i might be a little silent i might not talk throughout the whole video but I will probably show you guys what I'll be cooking. Um, but, yeah. Um, it's just been pretty good. Uh, like I said, sunny, cloudy. Look at these clouds. As you can see, probably can't see my face that much. I mean, I don't know. But, yeah. It's, it's been like that these past couple, two or three days. Ever since it stopped raining, it's been like this. A bunch of thick clouds. Um, yeah, I catched up with my cousin Tommy, I was talking to him yesterday, we were talking about a bunch of stuff, like always, he was just asking me how I was doing, um, in case I didn't tell you guys, he did get a new car, he got in a, a 2023 Acura, the newest car, he literally got it this year, I'm like, dude, I wish I was you right now, I wish I had my own car like that, but a 2023, okay, you're bougie. <laughs> but we were just laughing and because i was talking to him you know i was venting out to him last month but you know i've just been having like just thinking like what am i gonna do with my life you know what i said i'm doing this to get something out of it still you know it's, i have a goal in mind and right now i'm continuing to do videos you know and inspiring people as much as i can and I've, whether I've told you guys this or not, I'm trying to inspire you guys, anybody that's watching me, to get something out of it, you know, whether I'm just talking out of my ass or if you really want to hear me, you know, I don't know, but I hope that there is followers out there that want to hear me and take my advice and anything I say, take it in, you know, and think about it and, you know, all positivity, you know, I don't want to be negative, you know, I don't want to come out as a negative person. If I do, I do apologize, you know, but I'm trying to be as positive as I can for everybody here, you know. And speaking of that, I was venting out to him, to Tommy, you know, my cousin. He lives in Seattle, Washington. I've been there about three times already. Um, it's a nice place, nice environment, very soothing, uh, dark, you know, it's cloudy, rainy. It's always moist over there. It's a green, forested land, you know. The geography is just forest, greens, big trees, you know, you name it. And I was just telling him last month, you know, I want to get my own car, my own place. Me and my girl want to move out, you know. I'm not, I'm considering still getting a job, but for now I'm doing this, you know, as my hobby, hopefully becoming an actual career or a, a a job you know being a youtuber and making a salary off of it you know money and you know yeah it's like that's what my goal is and i literally just told him yesterday you know i want to make my own podcast you know I've, I've told you guys that's not over you know i'm it's gonna come out one day i've told you guys i'm not making any promises all i all i'm telling you it will come out one day you know and hopefully it's soon um but, um, 
and that will probably be my longest videos like maybe over an hour you know that's how podcasts usually are but right now you know and i'll be doing this side stuff you know vlogs and cooking and make you know eating in front of you guys asmr all that good stuff you know but my podcast will probably be the longest videos i ever make you know so um yeah so I, was, I told Tommy about my goals, you know, like I want to be a podcaster and make my own podcast and my YouTube channel. Um, he was telling me, like, I asked him, do you know any people that do podcasts or have one, you know? And he told me not necessarily, but he said that he knows a Twitch streamer, that he became well, well known. He got sponsored by a company. I forgot what he said, but he went to high school with him. He was just starting off like me, you know, and he became a Twitch streamer. You know, well well known, sponsored. You know, he was he. It was a success for him. You know, fortunately, he, it was. You know, some people like that. You know, but you still gotta work at it. You know, what I mean, it's not just gonna come at you. You know, unless you got some other weird shit to do it or some other way to just jump over. But you know, I'm surprised how fast people have success with that. You know. Like Mr. Beast, you know, not not putting him down or anything, but I wonder how did that guy come up so quickly, you know, to fame like that, to be able to do all that shit like just in a fucking minute, you know. And that's just, yeah. Um, that's what I was thinking about. So you know, just you know, chatting with you guys here. It's been a little while. Um, one of our, uh, clean, uh, he's, his name is Jose, he cleans the area around here, it's flat now, it's clean, all the weeds are down, we've been having problems with weeds lately, and finally he cleaned, um, he might come back, there's still a little area that's not chopped off, I was trying to do that, I've been trying to do it myself, um, just to do something, you know, around here. That little patch over there of weeds is not cut yet. So I don't know if he's coming back. Or I might just cut him myself. I'm still considering it. Cutting it myself. I don't mind. You know. I like doing a little yard work here and there. But yeah. He did most of it now. Everything's done. He still hasn't done the inside. Like the interior of the apartments. And the little complexes here that we live in. Um, he still hasn't done that yet. Again, I'm considering doing it too, but who knows. Also, oh, a little solar panel. <laughs> I was wondering, what the hell is this? What in the blue hell? What is that? See, uh, that's an office out there. That's an off a doctor's office. I forgot exactly. I don't know if it's a dentist. Dentistry, but... Yeah, I was looking at this this thing right here, and then there's like a little screen right there. It's a little solar panel, but I thought for a second it was a freaking camera, and it looks, I don't know, it has like a little screen, like a little thing right here. Look at it. Let me show you guys. See that? It looks like a sound detector or some camera or something. I don't know. I would not be surprised. You know, I like my privacy back here. Not in some weird way. I'm not talking about that. But, I mean, you see how this is a huge space. There's plants. There's trees. Look at it. I actually like coming back here just to chill and think about things. And this is like my little escape, you know. Like, this is my area where I go to when, like, uh, yesterday me and my girl argued over some stupid crap. And I got pissed off and I came back here and I was just alone back here. So we have our days, sometimes like we get into little arguments or, you know, pity shit. She kind of irritated me yesterday, so I fucking came back here and I was alone, but we're good now. It was just a little thing that happened yesterday. But anyways, you know, just, you know, like that and like incidents like that or just in general, I like being back here. You know, it's nice back here. It's a green, you know, a little, little desert area. Again, every time I make a video, there's a plane. 
Who's that? Oh, oh shit. I wonder what they got over there. I just saw an Arizona pest control truck. It went into a house. I don't know if they're cacarroches. Oh my gosh, rats. I don't know. But anyway, um, uh, but yeah. But that thing right there, I was wondering, I don't know if it's a camera or some detector. It looks really advanced, not, it doesn't, it looks pretty, um, um, yeah, it looks pretty, but I would not be surprised if it is a camera because this area also, people like camping out here, like fucking crackheads come over here camping and put tents and chairs and beds and stuff here, like literally this, like this area right here and back there, all that. A lot of times you see tents and beds and chairs, like little houses, like they literally build houses here to sleep, you know? I'm like, damn. But, yeah, and that's what they do back here. And my grandpa has to, no, not, not even he can't do anything. You know, I told you one of my videos, me and him like to detect people that come back here and we tell them to go because it's private property, which it is. It's factual, you know, it is private property. You're not supposed to step in here, you know, unless you live here. Like, this is our property. We live here, you know. But if you're not from here, you don't live here. This is private property. It's not, it's, you know, just, it's territorial. You know what I mean? It's not your territory, so you can't be here. Again, it's factual. We're not just we're not just shooing people away just to be assholes. Like we're not like that, you know, it's just there's a reason for it, you know. But there's times where it gets so bad. Real quick, group of ten, like literally ten people can walk back here. And that's when you know it's so unsafe, like if that ever happens again, which certainly I wouldn't be surprised because it happens so many times throughout the years that we've been here. I would not come back here, you know, I would not even step outside, I would be careful until they leave. It would be a, t a period of time where I don't like being out here, because I know a bunch of people are back here, a group of people, and you don't know what they're like, you don't know what they're going to do, you know, what their intentions are. You know, some are mean, some look for trouble, you know. I don't want to get into altercations with anybody, you know, and start shit, or them starting shit with us, you know, disturbing the peace. I just let them be. You know, if they fuck with me, you know, I only do something if you do something to me, you know, I'm not gonna hit first, you know what I mean? Like, you're, if you're asking for it, you're gonna get your ass handed, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I feel about these people around here. But, like I said, no trouble or no problems I want to cause, you know, myself. Out of respect, you know, I don't do nothing, you know. You guys should know I'm not confrontational or provocative, you know, I don't want to be like that, you know. But I do have my limit and I do have my, how you say it? I have a loose cannon. I can blow up on somebody. I really like, <clears throat> <clears throat> so look at that red bird. You guys can see it. There's a red bird right there. I think it's a cardinal. Um. This bird is always here. Like me and Jasmine come. She thinks uh, it's her beliefs, like spiritual beliefs. It's her great grandfather watching her, and it's always like that. We come, and he, the bird's standing right there. And then right, right when we come, he leaves. It's like okay, they're here, they're safe. I'm gonna go. But every time they check up on us, and it's weird. And Jasmine has told me that. But it's 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 cute, you know. And it's funny, and it's kind of soothing, you know, knowing that in a spiritual manner. I like birds too, and those are pretty, like the cardinals, it's a red bird with like black, and it's rare to see, I don't see red birds like that, and then, and I've never really seen it up close like that, it was just right here on this little branch, um, but anyways, you know, I, I just wanted to talk to you guys, you know, and, yeah, the main thing, I was trying to be funny with this damn thing. I'm like, what is that, a camera or something? Or am I being watched? Or Not that mind, you know. I'm not, I don't do anything stupid, but it's more for other people's 
bullshit, you know, when they come back here, just imagine they have footage and the landlord might actually be looking out here. And let's say that cameras are on, there's different cameras and different, you know, cameras nowadays have different sensors, different beams. So you can look at this whole area and you can see the people walking around here when they do stupid shit out here. You know, but that's pretty much it, you know. But yeah, I just wanted to come out with you guys. It's a nice sunny day. It's very clear, green. Uh, see how you guys are doing. I hope everything's going great for you guys in life. You know. So yeah, just so. Uh, so, I'll catch you guys later. Just um, like I said, I might do a video later of my cooking. I don't know what I'm going to cook it. I'm going to look. Um, but I might do a second video in a row. And, you know, today. Oh, wow, that was weird. <laughs> it was dark for a second because it was a cloud. And all you see is the light. Like, it's like a sheet of light just opening. Like, all the ground just lit up. Because it's cloudy, so the sun blocks the clouds. Or the clouds block the sun. I think the cloud just moved and the sun came out again. And it looked kind of weird. I'm like, whoa. That looked awkward but yeah anyway i'll chat with you guys later or i might do a little silent video i might just show you my cooking um but i'll see you guys later it's been nice chatting with you guys stay safe eat 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 your breakfast eat your lunch please eat your lunch do not fast that is very dangerous do not fast do not fast don't fast please eat your eggs sausage and then right now Oh, I feel like having a chimichanga. Go for it. If you feel like having a chimichanga, go for it. If you feel like having a taco, go for it, girl and guy. Go for it. Eat whatever the hell you want. If you crave anything, don't hold back. You go. Like, damn, I feel like having Dairy Queen. Drive in your car. Get in your car. Turn it on. Uh -uh -uh -um. Drive to Dairy Queen and get yourself a chocolate dip cone or a cherry dip cone or a banana split. You, whatever the hell you want. Whatever you think about, get it. I'll hold back. Please don't hold back, okay? Okay? All right, well, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. SR Squad out. Bye.